Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. Today, we'll do a walkthrough in the electronic design workspace in Fusion 360. For our example, we'll be designing a schematic that consists of a handful of components that will have a few LEDs that will flash. You are welcome to follow along since all the components are available in the current version of Fusion 360. Let's get started. Let's begin by accessing Fusion 360 Electronics Workspace. From the File pull-down menu, notice that you have a selection to create a new electronic design or a new electronic library. For our example, we're going to go ahead and create a new electronic design. From the electronic document, we have the options to link an existing schematic or create a brand new schematic design. After selecting creating a new schematic, you'll be in the Fusion 360 Electronic Schematic Editor. Notice that the interface is rather similar to other workspaces available in Fusion 360. We will proceed to add components to our very first schematic. Notice there are many panels on the left side of our workspace. We're going to be using the Place Component panel to find the parts that we need and add them to our design. We'll be using the Tutorial Fusion Library to select the components we're going to be using. I'm going to use the Library Manager just to make sure that this library is currently active. The first component is the LM555 Timer. Notice that it's available in multiple variants. You can also preview the component that is selected at the bottom of the panel. After selecting the current variant, let's drag it into the workspace. Use the right mouse key to rotate components and the center mouse button to mirror them. Go ahead and place the component. Notice you have another one attached to your mouse cursor. This is actually intentional in case you have to use the same component multiple times, such as capacitors and resistors. Since I just mentioned about passive parts, let's go ahead and start adding some to our design. I'll begin with some resistors. I'll be needing four of them for our design. Let's stagger them around our timer chip. Let's continue by adding a few capacitors that's going to help our timer to work the correct mode for what we're looking for. And finally, let's go ahead and add our LEDs. Make sure to use a variant that has your favorite color. Go ahead and place two of them. I will pause now and use the net command to define our connections that I need to make the circuit work. Notice that the connecting points of the pins will highlight as the net approaches the pin. Make sure to begin or end your nets at that point. This will assure that the circuit is correctly connected. Don't worry if you cross net over another net. This will not be a short. They will only connect if you stop a net on top of another net. And if you do this, you're going to notice that a junction point will appear. We'll see this later throughout our design. We're going to bring in a few more components. One of them is going to be a connector that's going to be used to power up our design. Select and drag in the JST two pin connector into our design and use the center mouse button to mirror it. That way our pin are pointing in the correct direction towards our timer. Now it's time to bring in power into our design and we're going to be using the supply pins V plus and ground from that exact same library. By using supply pins, we could easily distribute power throughout our design without having to run nets to every point. Supply pins and power pins automatically connect if they have the same name. To end our demo, let's take time and add the correct values to our passive parts by using the value command. With the schematic completed, I will now create the PCB from it. Notice all the assets appear on the left hand side of a default board. Please remember that the board and the schematic are linked 
so any changes to the schematic will be affected in real time to the PCB. There's some changes that could be done to the PCB such as name and value that are going to be reflected on the schematic. This concludes this demonstration. Please join us for part 2 to learn more on how to put your layout together. Thank you for joining me. All this and more with Fusion 360.